Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Erica Jane is under fire for trying to keep almost a million dollar earrings that Tom Girardi allegedly bought with client money. And why exactly did Garcelle Bouvet unfollow Erica Jane? Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So before we get into some Erica Jane Girardi news, I have to talk about the elephant in the room. Not the one behind me. As you know, I have not really been reporting a lot on Erica Jane because honestly, I was tired of it. And so many of you who I call the curators of pop culture here in our community have been tired of it as well. And our main goal was to put pressure on Erica Jane and everyone around Erica Jane and Bravo to make sure that the victims, Tom Girardi's victims, got the money that they are owed. We've been watching. Don't think that we have stopped watching and trying to figure out what's happening with the situation. But all of you are tired with the back and forth between the attorneys, Erica Jane profiting off of this on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Doesn't mean that we stopped. Doesn't mean that we would stop reporting. But I have been following the news. I know about the hair extensions. I know about the back and forth with the, the legal situation. We also know that this is going to be Erica Jane's storyline. But here's the thing, guys. I also predict that this season, Erica Jane is going to be irrelevant. I think there's going to be so much going on with the other people that are going to be a part of this cast. I think the legal situation that was the focus last season and carried the season because of people like Sutton and Garcelle asking the questions, and I've said this multiple times, yeah, it was Erica's legal situation, but Erica would have been mums the word on this situation if, if, if no one was asking her questions about it. I have a feeling, though, the legal situation, a lot of people are tuned out. A lot of people are not going to be interested in Erica this season. It's still going to be a part of her storyline, but I don't think it's going to be as interesting as last season. That's just my prediction. But I know there have been a lot of back and forth legally. I knew I know about the overpriced hair extensions, but me talking about it is just giving you guys, oh, let me go look at her website. Let me go order some. Not all of you, some of you. <laughs> no, sorry, Erica. But this story was interesting because it directly affects clients and victims. Here's what we, we were hearing. And the story has an update since my original plan to do the story. And that is Erica Jane is going to turn these $750,000 earrings over to a third party. This is what TMZ originally reported on these earrings. They said Erica Jane might have to surrender $750,000 worth of bling. A bankruptcy tr trustee is coming for her diamond earrings, claiming Erica's estranged husband, Tom Girardi, bought them with stolen client money. According to court docs obtained by TMZ, Tom Girardi bought the ultra pricey and icy earrings back in 2007 from Eminem Jewelers using money that was a, in a client trust account at his old law firm, Girardi Keys. Girard Tom Girardi was out here buying things with other people's money. We knew that already, but the fact that you, you have a paper trail. According to TMZ, they said they can't confirm that these diamond earrings were the ones that Eric was rocking in 2019 are the ones in question. But the trustee in the Girardi and Keys bankruptcy case alleges that Tom hid the transaction by describing the purpose of the check on the G&K's trust account as a cost, that's a quote, item paid to M&M. So now the trustee is demanding Erica turn over the earrings to the bankruptcy case. Now, Erica's attorney is responding to this. So this is an update. Guys, we've partnered with one of my favorite brands. It's a brand that I was using before they reached out to be a part of our channel. And that's Essentials. Love, love, love them. First of all, premium men's and women's basics. It's a pandemic. A lot of us are working from home and you just want comfortable clothes. But why shouldn't they be quality? Essentials launched a few years ago. I've been using it for years. And now they're partnering with the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. And you can get a discount code. Be sure to check out the description of this video for a link and a discount code. YouTube 63. And 
don't forget, there is worldwide shipping and I believe in it. I haven't brought to you anything that I don't believe in and I believe in essentials. Check out their men's and women's basics. And women, I know this is not in the women's section, but I already know you would love this shirt. Comfortable, great fits, check out essentials. More information is available in the description of this video. Erica just filed docs of her own saying she totally that she's totally innocent and had no idea where the money to buy the earrings came from 15 years ago, which honestly, I could believe that. Are you really going to question, Tom, where'd you get this money from 15 years ago? No, maybe last year, a year, a couple years ago. Yeah. According to TMZ, out of good faith, Erica says she will give the earrings to a third party to be held until a final order is made. Erica's t attorney, Evan Borges, tells TMZ, even based on the incomplete hearsay evidence filed with the motion, the trustee has no claim based on Erica innocently receiving a gift of earrings 15 years ago from her now estranged and then extraordinarily wealthy husband. Again, guys, we've gone back and forth on why Erica Jane hasn't just given up all of the stuff that Tom has given her. We can have a debate on that. I'm tired of the of the debate. Erica, it has been proven multiple times in court that Tom Girardi was funding your lifestyle and his lifestyle, your career with stolen client money. This legal battle is going to continue for a while now, y'all. It's going to continue for a while. And honestly, if she is relying on this to be her storyline and to pay her bills, it's, it's not interesting. You know, we were just talking about the Jenny Wen situation and them possibly profiting off of black pain. Now, Erica Jane is profiting off of victim pain. Not interested. And that's why I say I don't believe that this new season and this as her storyline is going to be helpful to her a lot of people are going to and you already have checked out when it comes to erica jane but this is just your yearly quarterly reminder erica jane we're still watching you we're still watching the case i may not report on every single nitty-gritty detail of the case i'm still watching turn those earrings over asap but in other Real Housewives of Beverly Hills news, Erica Jane has a new foe. And that is Garcelle Bouvet. As you know, Garcelle, this is going to be her third season. Her friend, her real life bestie, Cherie, is going to be on the show. As you know, Cherie is no stranger to reality TV. She's no stranger to celebrity. She is the ex-wife of Will Smith. She is going to be on the show. And I'm so happy about that because it's going to be a genuine friendship on the show. Unlike Lisa Renna, speaking of Lisa Renna, guys, I also know, you know, we reported a, a little bit about the black fishing that Lisa Renna was doing in her pictures from her Renna beauty party. But there was also the element of the caption that Erica Jane posted of a picture of both of them from this party. And originally it was captioned Donna and Jerry referring to Donna Summers, a black woman. And then she changed it because people were accusing her of black fishing. I'm paying attention, y'all. I don't report on everything because, look, I can't. <laughs> I don't have a team of people like TMZ. But I'm paying attention. And Lisa Renna, people are on you for years of problematic behavior. But back to my girl, Garcelle, elephant brain. <laughs> Garcelle has unfollowed Erica Jane. As you know, a lot of the times, this is a way of letting the fans know what's happening during the season. And one of the, the best stories I can remember is Cynthia Bailey addressing Portia unfollowing her. And she's just like, I, why am I going to unfollow her? There's no reason for me to unfollow her. So the fact that Garcelle unfollowed Erica says to us that there's some sort of drama that happens between them. As you may recall, there was some drama last season where Erica came at Garcelle because of her bringing up the whole she's in communication with Tom. So it'll be interesting to see why exactly Garcelle is unfollowing Erica already. I'm, I got, I got Garcelle's back, but I have to see it. You know, I'm a straight shooter. You know, I'm fair. Some of you don't think that, but whatever, I don't care, um, but I'm willing to see what's happening here. But I usually lean on Garcelle because Garcelle to me is sensible. She's sensible. She's fair. She's shady. 
We love that in our housewives. But why would Garcelle unfollow Erica? Is it because of the, the earring situation? <laughs> <laughs> Did Garcelle see the earring situation? She's like, I can't with this woman anymore. Give the victims their money. Give them back. Guys, I want to know your thoughts on everything that's been going on with Erica Jane. You are the curators of pop culture. Do you want to hear more about Erica Jane? Honestly, I already know. I already know. I can sense when you guys want me to report on a story. That's why I report the way that I report. There are some things that I'm passionate about that I report on, like that Jenny Wen racist Facebook post situation. And then there are those stories that you guys are constantly sending me. It's not just the one or two of you. It's when I'm getting multiple text messages in our texting community, messages on social media. That's how I know you are the curators of pop culture. Thank you guys so much for being that for me and keeping me focused on what's important. Let's continue that conversation below. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload.